While every doctor says you can't grow taller after your growth plates have closed, I am here to tell you it's a mediocre lie. Let's start at the beginning. You first need to know why your growth plates close. Our growth plates before closure are made out of cartilage, and when nearing the end of puberty they slowly turn into bone. When they are turned into bone, they are closed. All this happens because of the hormone estrogen, so if you want to keep your growth plates open, you want to minimize estrogen. Around one-third of estrogen is produced through aromatization, which is a process where testosterone is converted into estrogen inside fat cells. Since aromatization can only occur in fat cells, losing body fat is one of the best ways to lower your estrogen and keep your growth plates open. Other ways to decrease estrogen besides losing body fat includes eating one to two raw carrots daily, including bee pollen in your diet, and last but not least, avoiding phytoestrogens that are in soy, flaxseed, and hoppy beer. Females have more estrogen than men, and that's why generally they are shorter than males. I often get the question how to reopen growth plates or grow taller. To grow taller, you need mechanical and hormonal stress on the bones. Mechanical stress is exercising, sports, or bone remodeling, microfractures. Hormonal stress is the food that you eat and maxing out hormones. Today we are going to talk about hormonal stress. The hormones you should be maxing are IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor 1 and HGH or human growth hormone. Here is all the ways to increase IGF-1. First, zinc absorption. In one animal study, feeding a zinc-depleted diet to rats for 14 days resulted in a 28% decrease in IGF-1 compared with rats fed a zinc-adequate diet. Second, protein. Eating enough high-quality protein is critical if you want to increase your IGF-1 levels. High-protein diets can increase IGF-1 levels. I personally recommend 1.2 to 1.7 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. With that, you will get the essential amino acids. Third, vitamin C. Taking extra vitamin C is another way to increase IGF-1. Fourth, creatine. It is the most researched supplement and it's safe to use it. I personally recommend creatine monohydrate. And fifth, magnesium. Research shows that magnesium levels are strongly and independently associated with total IGF-1 levels. I am going to drop other methods to increase IGF-1 in the description. Let's move on to increasing human growth hormone to the max. First, fasting intermittently. Studies show that fasting leads to a major increase in HGH levels. Second, sprints. Studies show that sprints alone can increase HGH by 700%. Third, L-arginine. Study in 30 active males found that taking 10 grams of arginine after an overnight fast led to a modest increase in HGH levels. Fourth, GABA supplement. 2008 study found that taking a GABA supplement led to a 400% increase in HGH at rest and a 200% increase following exercise. Fifth, high-intensity exercising. In particular, high-intensity exercise has been shown to increase levels of HGH in several studies. However, other forms, such as moderate-intensity exercise, may also be beneficial. 6. Sports drink. This study demonstrated that a pre-workout sports drink significantly increased growth hormone levels immediately after exercising and up to 15 minutes post-workout. And last, optimize your sleep. Studies have shown that inadequate sleep can reduce the amount of HGH your body produces. Here are a few simple strategies to help optimize your sleep. Avoid blue light exposure before bedtime. Read a book before going to bed. Make sure your bedroom is at a comfortable temperature. And don't consume caffeine late in the day. That's all you need to know about hormonal stress. If you made it to this part of the video, I will share some valuable information you never knew. If you want to boost height growth, you need to supplement boron. Let me explain why. Boron lowers estrogen levels in your body and thereby keeping growth plates open for a longer duration. Also, more importantly, studies on rats and ostriches have found that supplementing boron increases their height by around 4%. This may not seem like much, but on a 5 foot 9 individual this would add an extra 3 inches in height to eventually make them 6 foot. The best way to obtain boron is by eating raisins. Make sure the raisins you buy are organic and don't contain any seed oils. Or you can take it as a supplement. This is part 1 video. Part 2 will be exercises for bone remodeling, microfractures, for people with closed growth plates, and sports for people with open growth plates. Also, I will be sharing nutrition for growing taller as well. Stay tuned. Subscribe for more valuable information like this.
peace.